Hey guys, this is um, Suburban Nights, and today I'm going to show you a video of some stuff that you might not have known about Safari for a public beta. So let me open it right now. So it opens my homepage, and some things that you might have been using Safari for a while, but you still don't exactly know how all the full features you can use um, in it. So I'll open this part, and the cool thing is private browsing. Private browsing is basically if I'm on a computer and I don't want people to see my history or it to track what I'm doing. So say I'm at my friend's house and I my computer broke and I want to make a purchase. It won't, so my friend, if you don't trust your friend I guess, um, your friends look at your credit card information and stuff. And it's good for shared computers so no one can actually see what you're doing. You can mail contents of your page through your mail account. I don't have that on my dock right now. But you can do that. And mail link contents. Import bookmarks from a file on your computer, which is helpful. Um, view. Cool thing is you can customize your toolbar up here. So this is your toolbar bar basically up here. From here to uh, all the way over here. You can drag items in here. And you can just drag items out to get rid of them. And a cool thing also is two functions. You can use this or that to use it. But zoom in to zoom in on a page to say you can't read the page text. So zoom out. And a cool other thing is zoom in text only. So these elements of the page that aren't text, I can see clearly. But say the text is really small and I cannot read this text. I can just, since I'm on zoom text only, it'll only zoom the text in and these elements will stay the same. Which I run into some problems over there. Okay, so history, I can view my history, my bookmarks, my window, and bring all of them to the front. So say I had two windows open, I could bring this one, all of them to the front. I can view my downloads, my activity. And um, a cool thing is if I go into preferences, Safari for public beta is an RSS reader. It has two functions, um, an internet browser, and it you can use it as an RSS reader. I use Shrook 2.7 since I believe it is better and it is a dedicated RSS reader. I just think it's better. So you can set this as your default RSS reader also. And it can update your bookmark bar, bookmarks bar um, items, your bookmark menu items over there. And you can check for updates um, continuously, which is really cool since it does two options in one. General, you can change lots of defaults and you can say download files um, cool thing is you can change where you want to um, your files to download since leopard people will not run into this problem of because they have a dedicated downloads folder but people like me who have tiger I have a dedicated downloads file or if you want um, different files to go to different places and move download list items you can pick when to do that parents your bookmarks um, your tabs, autofill, um, see if it'll fill stuff from your address book. I really don't use my address book at all, so that wouldn't help me. Security, this is um, good if you don't have uh, like a Norton antivirus to help you, which I don't have. So it kind of helps with a fraudulent website that might have a virus on it. And Java, JavaScript, pop-up windows, this is very helpful since I hate when pop-up windows pop up. It doesn't stop all pop-up windows, but it does help most of them. Except cookies, advanced, I will not go into that. Um, you can see your top sites that you have visited. So you see that I visited these sites top. And some of my other video, I can pin them and they would st um, stay up here. And I can just X them out and get rid of them. Um, and history, I can see my history, like a cover flow type. Again, I'm just going to my other video. You might want to watch that a little more in depth. Bookmarks bar. If I was using the RSS reader in here, I could see, if, if I was using Safari um, RSS reader, I could use that. Um, ported IE favorites, um, that it just, it's default. So some of your favorite sites might be in here. Most of the Apple sites are already preloaded bookmarks inside of here. And they want you to buy stuff. And personal links, links that I have, video links, 
um, well, not video links, a uh, personal bin called Video for me and help me with making videos since I am planning to make videos. Um, so lots of stuff and make um, handy folders. And you can add bins too. And folder I'll just name as um, blah. So I can just drag stuff in there. And if I want it to be in my bookmarks bar over here, I can just pull it and pull it over here. And it is inside my bookmarks tab. And I can easily just pull it out too. So this has been um, a Suburban Nights Enlightenment of Safari 4. And um, please subscribe and comment rate. And the best thing you do do is just spread the word of my videos. Um, okay. Thank you for watching.